My beloved child, if you believe this, like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you believe in God, type, I really love you, God. And if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks from $50 to $100. God bless you, my child. Type Amen. My beloved, you are deeply known, cherished beyond measure. From the moment of your conception, even before I have known you intimately. In the quiet sanctuary of the womb, where life's symphony begins its first tentative notes, I was there. I watched you with a heart brimming with love as you embarked on the miraculous journey of existence. My presence in your life is unbroken, a steady stream of guidance and companionship. I am the artist, and you, my beloved creation, are being lovingly shaped on the potter's wheel of life. Each spin, each gentle press of the hands, transforms you, bringing you closer to the vision I have always cherished for you. A vision of beauty, purpose, and joy. This journey of transformation is not a solitary one. Though you walk through valleys shadowed by doubt and climb mountains of trials, you are never alone. My presence envelops you, a comforting cloak in the cold, a soft whisper in the tumult. When pain clouds your days and the night seems endless, remember, I am right beside you, holding your hand, guiding your steps. I understand your humanity, your fragility. The human heart and mind, though wonderfully made, have their limits. In your moments of despair, when you feel abandoned and lost, recall my greatest sacrifice. On the cross, I embraced loneliness and pain, endured the utmost abandonment so that you, my precious one, would never have to face your trials alone. I am there in every tear, every sigh, every heartache, and in every triumph, too. The shadow of death looms as an inevitable horizon for all life. Yet it is not a chasm of despair, but a doorway to glory. Through my crucifixion and triumphant resurrection, I have transformed even death, that last and fearsome enemy, into a mere pause before the dawn of an eternal day. In life's complexities and its finality, trust in me. I am your guide through the labyrinth of existence and your bridge over the abyss of non-being. In your daily walk, let this truth be the compass that guides you. My love for you is boundless, unchanging, a beacon in the darkness. When doubts assail you, when your faith wavers like a candle in the wind, remember the constancy of my presence. I am the unchanging pillar of cloud by day and of fire by night, leading you through life's wilderness to a land. Flowing with milk and honey, a place of rest and abundance. Every sunrise is a reminder of my faithfulness, every sunset a testament to my unending care. In the grandeur of creation, in the intricate beauty of a single leaf, see reflections of my love for you. The universe, vast and awe-inspiring, is a canvas where I have painted the story of my devotion, a tale that finds its climax in the salvation I offer you. I invite you to partake in this grand narrative. Every moment of your life, every breath you take, is an opportunity to draw closer to me. In the silence of prayer, in the melody of worship, in acts of kindness and love, there you will find me. I am as close as your heartbeat, as immediate as your thoughts. Your life is a precious gift, an opportunity to experience the richness of my love to grow in wisdom and stature. In every challenge, find the seeds of growth. In every joy, see the fruits of my blessing. With each passing day, let your heart be a fertile ground where faith takes root, blooms and flourishes. In your interactions with others, remember that they too are my beloved creations. Show them the same love I have shown you. 
In your kindness, let them see a reflection of my grace. In your forgiveness, let them feel the warmth of my mercy. Through your life, let them encounter my presence. And when the evening of your life draws near, when the shadows lengthen and the light fades, fear not. For I will be there as I have always been, to guide you through the twilight into the radiance of my eternal day. There, in my presence, you will find the fulfillment of every hope, the answer to every longing. Walk boldly, my child, with faith as your shield and my love as your sword. Let the melody of my words be the rhythm that guides your steps. In every moment, in every breath, I am with you, leading you ever onwards, upwards, into the fullness of my joy and the endless beauty of my kingdom. You are infinitely loved, eternally cherished, and forever held in the embrace of my grace. In the tapestry of eternity, your thread is golden, woven with the unbreakable strands of my unfailing love. Keep your eyes fixed on me, your heart attuned to my voice, and together we will journey through this life and beyond into the glorious adventure that awaits. My beloved, blessed are you who find solace in patience, for your heart is a fertile ground for the seeds of faith. In your waiting there lies a hidden strength, an unseen fortitude that burgeons within, nurtured by the gentle rain of my presence. In the hush of your waiting, listen to the whispers of my love. Each moment of stillness is an invitation to deepen your reliance on me. You yearn to chart your course, to set forth plans and see them to fruition. Yet there is profound wisdom in yielding to the pace of my grace. In this surrender, you discover a wealth of blessings, some veiled in the mystery of times yet to unfold, others blossoming at your feet in the present. These blessings, though shrouded in the enigma of the future, are not beyond your reach. As you obediently abide in my presence, you accumulate treasures for the time to come. These unseen gifts, nestled in the morrow, germinate in the soil of your faith. Though their form is yet concealed, their promise is certain, their beauty undeniable. Simultaneously, there are gifts of the now, blessings that breathe and dance in the rhythm of your current waiting. The very act of pausing in my embrace, of anchoring your soul in the haven of my care, is a blessing unto itself. It keeps you agile, your soul poised on the tips of faith's toes, eyes lifted heavenward, heart pulsating with hope. In this act of waiting, you acknowledge my sovereignty, resting in the assurance of my goodness and love. The reasons for the delay may elude you, shrouded in the mist of my greater plan. But as you choose to trust me with an unwavering heart, you are adorned with peace that surpasses understanding, joy that defies circumstances. Remember, my child, that in the fabric of your life, each thread of waiting weaves a pattern of divine design, a tapestry of profound purpose. Your journey of waiting is not a path of idleness, but a pilgrimage of growth, a voyage where trust is both the compass and the destination. As you traverse this path, let your heart find comfort in my promises. I am with you in the waiting, in the stillness, in the uncertainty, I am the architect of your days, the author of your story. In every moment of pause, in every season of anticipation, my love envelops you, my grace sustains you. Rejoice in this time of waiting, for it is a sacred space where faith is deepened, hope is kindled and love is ever present. In this holy stillness, know that I am God and my plans for you are perfect. Trust in me with all your heart, for in due time you shall reap the harvest of blessings I have prepared for you. Blessed are you who wait on me, for your patience is the gateway to unimagined joy and peace everlasting. Every day, in every breath you take, 
in the quiet moments and the bustling hours, my love relentlessly pursues you. It is a pursuit born out of an immeasurable depth of affection, a love that weaves its way through the intricacies of your life, leaving traces of my presence in everything you encounter. Be vigilant, for my love reveals itself in manifold ways, sometimes subtle, at times strikingly clear. The words of scripture, those ancient texts that seem to speak directly to your current struggle or joy, are my whispers to your soul. The encouraging words that spill from the lips of others are often orchestrated by my spirit, a timely balm for your weary heart. Even the so-called coincidences are the threads of my design, weaving a tapestry of grace and wonder in your life. Look around and behold the beauty of nature, a glorious testament to my creativity and care for you. Each sunrise, each blooming flower, each rustling leaf speaks of my love for you. My love is not a passive force. It is dynamic, active, leaping into the crevices of your life, filling them with light and warmth. I urge you, open the eyes of your heart to perceive these blessings. Recognize my handiwork in the grand and the minute, the extraordinary and the ordinary. I am there in the laughter of a child, in the comforting embrace of a friend, in the quiet solace of a starlit night. I implore you to not only receive these blessings, but to cherish them deeply. Hold them in your heart, ponder their meaning, and offer thanks for these manifestations of my love. Write them down, record these moments, so they may become lasting memories, reminding you of my constant presence in your life. These tokens of my affection are not mere happenings. They are the sustenance for your soul, fortifying you for the journey ahead. There is nothing in all creation, no trial or tribulation, that can ever sever you from my love. It is an eternal, unbreakable bond that holds you even in the darkest of times. My love is a beacon that guides you through storms a shelter that shields you from the fiercest winds. As you walk through this day and all the days to come, know that my love is your constant companion. It is in the gentle whisper of the morning breeze, the comforting warmth of the sun on your skin, the unexpected call from a friend, the verse that speaks directly to your heart. My love is the melody that plays in the background of your life, a song of hope peace, and joy. Embrace this love, for it is my most precious gift to you. Let it be the strength that carries you through challenges, the light that guides your path, and the peace that fills your heart. Know that in every step you take, my love is there, chasing after you, eager to fill your life with blessings beyond measure. My paths weave patterns beyond the grasp of human understanding. Come to me, child, with a heart cloaked in humility, bowing in reverence before the boundless expanse of my intelligence. In your journey through life, it is essential to acknowledge the limitations of your finite mind. The universe unfolds in a symphony of complexities, its intricate melodies often beyond the reach of human comprehension. Much of what occurs in your life, and indeed in the wider world, is shrouded in mystery. This is not a cause for frustration, but rather an invitation to trust in my infinite wisdom. The realms of heaven and earth are filled with wonders that transcend human understanding. As you navigate through the labyrinth of life, allow room for the enigmatic, the inexplicable, the incomprehensible, you stand on sacred ground, privy to mysteries that for ages were concealed. Through the revelations of the New Testament, through my incarnation, life, death, and resurrection, secrets once hidden in the shadows of time have been illuminated. These truths, now revealed, offer a glimpse into the divine, a window into the eternal. You are indeed blessed to hold such knowledge 
a treasure more precious than the finest gold. Yet, even with this revelation, the ways I work in your world often remain enigmatic, pathways shrouded in the mist of divine mystery. This reality presents you with a crucial choice. Will you resent the unknown, or will you bow in awe and wonder at the majesty of my ways? Will you choose to trust in my wisdom, even when the path ahead is obscured by clouds of uncertainty? I invite you to marvel at the depth of my wisdom and knowledge. Like a master artist, I weave the threads of existence with a precision and artistry that is beyond human understanding. My ways are not your ways, my thoughts not your thoughts. Yet, in this divine tapestry, every thread has its place, every color its purpose. In your moments of doubt and confusion, when the world seems cloaked in mystery, remember that I am the orchestrator of all things. My plans for you are born of an unfathomable love, a love that seeks your ultimate good. In the midst of life's mysteries, find solace in my unchanging nature, in my unfailing love. As you journey through life, let your heart be filled with a sense of wonder. Embrace the mysteries that surround you as an integral part of your spiritual journey. Let them be a reminder of my infinite nature, a testament to the fact that some things are meant to be revered in awe rather than dissected in understanding. When you find yourself grappling with questions that seem unanswerable, when the complexities of life feel overwhelming, look to me. In my presence, you will find peace amidst the unknown, comfort in the midst of life's mysteries. Trust in my unfathomable wisdom, and let your heart be lifted in worship and wonder at the depth of my love and knowledge. A love and knowledge that encompasses all things, from the greatest of mysteries to the smallest of details. In this journey, be assured that I am with you, guiding you through every twist and turn, every high and low. My paths are beyond tracing out, but they are paths of righteousness, love, and peace. Walk them in faith and let your heart be at rest in the assurance of my infinite wisdom and unfathomable love. In your journey through the world, I bestow upon you a gift of immeasurable worth, joy. This radiant treasure is not a mere embellishment to your life. It is its very essence, a necessity for the voyage ahead. The road you travel is strewn with unpredictability, bumps that jolt sharp turns that challenge, ascents that test, and descents that demand courage. In the absence of joy, the journey becomes burdensome, your spirit weighed down by weariness and despair. Understand this profound truth. Joy is not tethered to your circumstances. It is not a fleeting emotion, stirred only by favorable winds. True joy transcends the vicissitudes of life. It is a state of being, rooted deeply in faith and trust in me. This is why often those with little in material wealth radiate a joy that surpasses understanding. Those facing sickness, even in the twilight of life, can experience a joy profound when their trust is anchored in me as savior, lord and friend. Embrace the calling to be a bearer of joy in the world. Let my light reflect in you in the curve of your smile the resonance of your laughter, the kindness in your words. The Holy Spirit, dwelling within you, is ever ready to fill you with a joy that is infectious, a delight that overflows. Invite Him to occupy every space of your life. Ask for His joy to be made full in you. As you journey through each day, focus on staying close to me. In this closeness, in this intimate walk with me, you will find the path of life illuminated. My presence is the sanctuary where joy is found in its fullest measure. It is in the sacred space of communion with me that joy becomes your strength, a wellspring of vitality that rejuvenates your soul. 
Joy is not a passive state. It is active and dynamic. It is an expression of faith, a testament to hope, a demonstration of love. As you navigate through life's complexities, let joy be the compass that guides your steps, the lens through which you view the world. In every interaction, in every encounter, let the joy within you be a light that warms, a balm that heals, a force that transforms. In spreading joy, you participate in a divine act, echoing the heartbeat of heaven. It is a ripple that extends beyond the immediate, touching lives in ways unseen. Your joy becomes a beacon of hope to the weary, a song of freedom to the oppressed, a melody of comfort to the brokenhearted. Remember, joy is not found in the accumulation of possessions or the pursuit of fleeting pleasures. It is discovered in the simple moments, in the gratitude for the mundane, in the appreciation of the ordinary. It is in the laughter of a child, the beauty of a sunset, the quiet moments of reflection, the peace of a prayerful heart. As you journey with me, let joy be your constant companion. In times of trial, let it be your fortress. In moments of celebration, let it be your song. In seasons of sorrow, let it be your solace. For in my presence there is fullness of joy, and at my right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Journey on, beloved, with joy as your guide, and discover the richness of a life lived in the fullness of my joy. It is a joy that is complete, a joy that is enduring, a joy that is yours for the taking. In the grand narrative of existence, you have been called from the shadows into the splendor of my marvelous light. This journey is not merely a transition from darkness to light. It is an elevation into the royal lineage of my kingdom. I have enveloped you in my personal robe of righteousness, a garment that transcends mere cloth, imbuing you with the dignity and grace befitting my kingdom. You are now more than a wanderer in the night. You are a cherished member of my royal family, one of my own special people. You belong to me, and in you I find great delight. The choice to use imperfect beings like you to proclaim my praises is deliberate and purposeful. I am keenly aware of your limitations, of the chasm between your abilities and the calling I have placed upon your life. This gap is not a flaw in the design, but an integral part of my divine plan. It serves to amplify your awareness of your own insufficiency, driving you closer to me, to the realization that apart from my help, it is impossible for you to fulfill this call. This realization is not meant to discourage you, but to draw you into a deeper dependence on my boundless sufficiency. In acknowledging your inadequacy, you are not called to dwell in self-defeat, but to focus on maintaining closeness with me in every act, in every decision, let this consciousness guide you, that you are reliant on my aid, living not in the shadow of your shortcomings, but in the joyful liberation of self-forgetfulness. As you turn to me for your every need, your face becomes a mirror, reflecting the brilliance of my surpassing glory. This reflection is not born of self-effort, but of a heart in tune with my grace. Your life becomes a beacon of my light, a testament to the transformative power of my presence. In this journey of proclaiming my praises, perfection is not the requirement. A willing heart is. Your imperfections, your struggles and your failures are not hindrances, but opportunities for my power to be displayed in your life. In your weakness, my strength is made perfect. Embrace this calling with humility and courage. Let your life be a song of praise, not a testament to human prowess, but a celebration of divine grace. As you walk in the light of my presence, let your steps be guided by faith, your actions motivated by love, and your words inspired by hope. 
In this divine dance, you are not an isolated performer, but a part of a grand ensemble, orchestrated by my hand. Together with others in my family, you are called to shine, to be a collective manifestation of my love and light in a world that often dwells in darkness. Walk boldly in the light I have bestowed upon you. Shine brightly, not as a solitary star, but as part of the vast constellation of my people, each reflecting my glory in unique and beautiful ways. In this journey from darkness to marvelous light, know that you are cherished, equipped, and empowered by me to be a living testimony of my unfailing love and unending grace. I emerged as a beacon of light, not merely to illuminate the world, but to embody the very essence of light itself. This light, transcending mere physical illumination, is an eternal flame that darkness in all its forms can never extinguish. My infinite nature and omnipotence ensure that this celestial light perpetually shines, casting away shadows and revealing truths hidden in the depths of obscurity. Your belief in me has transformed you, elevating you to the status of a child of light. This transformation is not just an external alteration, but a profound change within your innermost being. The light now residing in you enables a unique perspective akin to seeing through my eyes. You can perceive the world and its intricate complexities as well as the deepest recesses of your heart with newfound clarity and understanding. However, this illumination often brings discomfort as the light unearths aspects of your heart that may have long been concealed in darkness. It reveals flaws, stirs up long buried guilt and confronts you with the stark reality of your imperfections. Yet, this discomfort is not without purpose. It is the catalyst for repentance, a necessary step on the path to true freedom. As you embrace this light and walk in my ways, you embark on a journey towards liberation from the shackles of past mistakes and the shadows of guilt. Rejoice in this enlightened perspective for it is a gift of inestimable value. Consider the plight of those who have not yet found their way to this light. The God of this age, in his cunning, has blinded the minds of many, obscuring their vision and preventing them from perceiving the radiant truth of my gospel. These souls wander in darkness, unaware of the glory that could illuminate their path and lead them to salvation. But you, my cherished one, are not bound by such blindness. In your heart shines the light of the knowledge of my glory. This is not a dim flicker, but a resplendent beacon, guiding you through life's tumultuous seas. It offers wisdom in moments of uncertainty, comfort in times of distress, and clarity when confusion reigns. Your journey is not a solitary one. As a bearer of this celestial light, you are called to be a beacon for others. Your life, transformed by my illumination, can serve as a testament to my love and power. In your words, your actions, and your very being, you can reflect the light of my presence, offering a glimpse of the hope and peace that I offer. In moments of doubt, or when the world's shadows seem too dense, Remember the source of your light. I am with you always, my light unfailing and my love unending. Let this assurance fill you with joy and embolden you to share the light with those still searching in the darkness. Rejoice greatly, for you have been gifted with the most precious of treasures, the light of my presence within you. It is a light that not only reveals but also heals, not only exposes but also forgives. Walk confidently in this light, knowing that it is the harbinger of true freedom, the guide to a life lived in fullness and grace, and the promise of a future radiant with hope and glory. Embrace this journey with a heart full of joy, for in the light of my love, you will find the strength to overcome darkness, 
the courage to face the unknown, and the peace that surpasses all understanding. This is your heritage as a child of light, a precious gift from the one who loves you more than you could ever fathom. Rejoice and let your light shine brightly, a beacon of hope in a world longing for the touch of the divine. Amen. My beloved child, I bless you richly. May each day of your week be imbued with vitality and free from the shadows of fear. Stand tall, letting go of any inkling of defeat. With the dawn of each day, immerse your soul in my words. Speak forth my promises with conviction. Let a radiant smile be your companion, as you, with steadfast belief, await the bounty of blessings on their way to you. On the cross, your victory was sealed. Through my resurrection, your foes were put to shame and overcome. You were delivered from the grip of death. I have gifted you my spirit to guide your emotions and empower you to shed all sorrow. You are not meant to tread a path of failure, to feel lesser or to view others as above you. My desire is for you not to live bracing for constant missteps. Where your dreams languish, your spirit is downtrodden, and your goals lie buried in a grave of hopelessness. My beloved, I am the essence of your existence. Your faith is already robust enough to elevate you above every challenge, inviting you to embrace a life filled with happiness. Yes, you may face trials and encounter difficulties, but my spirit within you is mighty, capable of breaking down each barrier and snapping every shackle, should you choose to trust in me wholeheartedly. A horizon of blessings is yours for the taking. Yet if you settle for mere scraps from those envious of your potential, if you allow yourself to be dominated by those who belittle and harm you, if you persist in accepting their lies, then you will be trapped in a realm of sorrow and despair. This is not the existence or future I've envisioned for you. Heed my voice until the very end. These words must be passed on. Embrace the power of my promises as they are vibrant and full of life. Dive into your Bible and let its truths brighten your understanding. Chasing away all gloom, purifying every nook of your being, and casting a radiant light on your path ahead, infused with strength and love. My plans for you are filled with kindness, not harm or distress. I yearn for your well-being in every area, echoing the prosperity of your spirit. Be bold. Affirm your love for me now. Say it with true belief and welcome. The blessing that is unfolding and will soon be visible. Trust in me. Your blessing is on its way and nothing can counteract my purpose. Cast aside your worries, knowing you are cherished and safeguarded by the universe's architect, the Supreme Monarch, your all-powerful divine parent. Feel the embrace of my love, accept the vigor, serenity, and insight I grant you today. The trials burdening you will soon vanish, leaving no trace of disgrace letdowns, derision, humiliations, disputes, or strife. Always cling to my guidance, ignoring the negative whispers in your being. Shun feelings of despair, sorrow, despondency, or defeatism. Your weeping will end, and your smile will bloom once more, as I declare. So it will happen. You will stand tall, and all will see in you the evidence of my love and benevolence. I call you to valor, to stand and show the world my reality, the truth of my word and the vastness of my grace, which is so powerful, it can change any heart. Your grief will be replaced with gladness. I will mend your emotional wounds and fill you with the peace necessary to continue steadfastly. Come near to me daily. Do not be misled by the notion that you can stray away from my embrace. Even if you wander to the most remote corners, 
my spirit will seek you out, gently guiding you home, holding you close. So, bask in my blessing this instant, and let my healing power caress you. I yearn to fill you with immense joy, to instill in you new reasons to cherish life. My strength lives within you. Your words are potent seeds that, nurtured by your faith and trust, will flourish into mighty trees, bearing the wondrous fruits of my boundless blessings in time. Your path in this world is lit by the radiance I bestowed upon you at your birth. I adore you, and I am eager to enrich you. Proclaim with your own voice your belief in me, and immense joy will be yours. Face your day's tasks with vigor. Should your energy wane, I'm right beside you, ready to uphold you in your moment of need. Do not hesitate to request good things from me. I have promised repeatedly to bless you and provide all you need to thrive. When burdens weigh you down, find sanctuary in my presence. Approach me. Lay down your burdens at my feet, and if weariness overcomes you, let your tears flow. The journey is challenging, and the unfolding events may appear intimidating, but with the might of my word and the solace of my love, I will cradle you in my arms, soothing your soul. Yesterday's sorrows, the betrayals, and the abandonment, you felt alone, misunderstood by those you trusted. Yet in your loneliest moments I am with you, intimately aware of your strife, ready to transform your trials into triumphs. I see your sorrow, and I feel it deeply. But I've arrived with a message. Your cries and your sorrows have ascended to the heavens, to my sacred throne, the place where your destiny is shaped, where every ailment finds healing, where your troubles are addressed, and where I provide solace in your trials. Now is the moment for heaven's gates to swing a weed open, bestowing immense blessings upon you, letting you experience my serenity, even in quietude. Regardless of the struggles you encounter, or the individuals who leave, the most crucial truth is my presence with you, offering comfort and support to your spirit. Release your uncertainties, embrace my affection, and proceed with unwavering determination. Your pace matters less than your persistence and faith. The goal isn't to hasten, but to persevere and triumph. I am by your side, watching over you, safeguarding your loved ones, and enriching your endeavors. Maintain your hopeful and joyful anticipation, savoring the splendid day I've crafted for you. Remember, I am your almighty God. I will not fail you. I vowed to shower you with blessings. Why falter in faith when challenges emerge? My love for you is constant, my blessings unending. Why should anxiety or fear displace your peace? Disregard the falsehoods of the world. Embrace the reality of my presence with you. Before you go, let's establish an agreement. Leave your burdens with me. I will tenderly touch and calm your heart, instilling peace. Affirm your belief in my words. Spread this message of my love and might to those in need. Hear this from the depths of my heart. I love you profoundly, and I wish no more suffering for you. I'm aware of the immense struggles you're enduring, feeling utterly depleted. You strive to maintain appearances, unwilling to let others perceive your pain or grasp the depth of your struggles. However, I understand you more profoundly than you comprehend yourself. The reflection you confront daily reveals only the external fecadae, while I perceive the essence of your spirit, the reality of your heart, even in your courage. I urge you to confide in me. Why hesitate to disclose your burdens? I am here to collect every tear and elevate you from despair. Cast aside your doubts and entrust your heavy loads to me. Being my child is a blessed privilege, and I am preparing a cascade of blessings and marvels for you and those dear to you. Anticipate the rejuvenation of your inner self with joy and contentment as you observe my promises unfolding in your life. My presence is a constant in your journey 
with my angels stationed as vigilant protectors, steering you clear of malice. In each new dawn, seek me first, and notice how your day transforms under my benevolence. I will immerse you in my gentle love, ensuring tranquility reigns in your heart. Should unexpected challenges emerge, just whisper my name, and I'll cast light on your decisions, bestowing wisdom and signs to guide your way. Rest assured, my aspirations for you are of the highest good, contingent on your heart's fidelity and purity. Request and it shall be granted, aligned with my divine plan. As a cherished progeny of the Almighty, no adversity can prevail against you or inflict harm. My hand is clasped in yours, guiding each stride, unveiling new horizons. Your endeavors consecrated in my name will flourish, bringing prosperity and achievement in your virtuous pursuits. With me as your ally, your aspirations and ventures will thrive, for I alone can envision and shape your destiny. Your household will experience my favor, their prosperity evident, shielded by my omnipresence. Affliction shall not breach your dwelling, for my essence envelops you, repelling malevolent forces and safeguarding against despair, animosity, and bitterness. Your lineage abides in the sanctified, safeguarding of my spirit. I have pledged my unwavering faithfulness to you, and this commitment is everlasting. Remember, even faith as minuscule as a mustard seed can burgeon into the grandest of trees. Just as that seed grows, so too will you. For my words hold immense power, enough to command mountains to shift if spoken in my name. Do not harbor any doubts. I am the steadfast God, unchanging and constant. I will always be by your side, loving you infinitely. Know that I am intimately acquainted with every aspect of your being, your feelings, thoughts, and actions, for I am your creator, shaping you in my own image. Let go of all resentment and vengeful desires. Instead, I urge you to pray for those who have wronged you that they might find their path to me. Their lives lack fulfillment, not adhering to my teachings or commandments, but entrust them to my care for I will intervene. I aim to touch their hearts and unveil the truth, Focus not on negativity, but on me, on the promises I've made and on the blessings I'm eager to bestow upon you. From your very first breath, and even before, I have been by your side observing your growth and all the trials you face it. Your courage is commendable, and I am here to fortify you further. Just believe in me, and maintain steadfast faith. For I'm dedicated to transforming your life. The scars of yesteryears will mend, and pain will cease to be your companion. This day is yours. Seize this moment. Lift your hands, offer your heart to me, and embark on a path of renewal and happiness. This year signifies a turning point a time of profound change if you accept the profound love I extend to you. Depend on me and be fearless. I am here to enfold you in my care, to comfort you amid your tribulations, affirming my constant and supportive presence. Recently you reached out in desperate need of aid, and I have come in response. I am ever listening, infinitely patient, ready for the precise moment to have my Holy Spirit converse with your soul. I see the journey you're on. Even when it seems shrouded in shadows and uncertainty, my love for you knows no limits, and I refuse to let despair take hold in your life. You won't be overcome by failure or defeat. Don't be troubled by the challenges you see or the barriers in your path, because what awaits you is a wealth of blessings and heavenly favors. I grant you the insight to find your way through seeming dead ends, turning them into passages of hope and opportunity. From now on, no one will have the power to intimidate or demean you. Your almighty heavenly Father 
The creator of all is by your side, defending you. Fear not the opinions of others. Recall how the envious have tried to hurt you, their deceit and schemes designed to see you falter all to no avail. You remain upright, persevering. Today, I instill in you a renewed zest for life, blessing you with a joy unassailable. By others, you are held in my embrace, valued and cared for dearly. Your unwavering faith and adherence to my teachings will draw my grace to you and your loved ones. Trust in me wholeheartedly and with purity, for I hold your future safely in my providence. I will protect you from those who seek your downfall. You will not be disgraced. My Holy Spirit's light will illuminate your path and those who wrong you will ultimately confront their reckoning. Like a tree flourishing beside nourishing streams, you will prosper, producing plentiful fruits for all to see and aspire to through the ages. My presence will envelop you, and you will be drenched in my kindness. Every morning seek me out. Resist the distractions that vie for your attention, drawing you away from recognizing the wellspring of your fortune. By my grace, your steadfast devotion, and the might of my risen power, I will manifest myself to you in extraordinary ways, ensuring the profound connection you feel now remains unbroken. The same force that crafted the cosmos is at your command. Stand strong with me. Do not yield to any adversity or the schemes of foes. Refuse to let anyone devalue you or accept harm. Guard your offspring, for I have dispatched angels to encircle you, warding off any malevolent intent. I urge you to play your role, live out your faith authentically, and heed the guidance imparted to you. The adversary is on the prowl, eager for a moment of your negligence to undermine my promises. So remain steadfast, safeguarding your belief. Begin by dedicating moments each day to me, approaching with thankfulness, recognizing that your every blessing flows from my affection, I have repeatedly called for your heart. Do not withhold it. Offer it to me wholly, for I am ready to absolve you of missteps, clear your remorse, refresh your moral sense, and fortify your trust. I engrave my teachings deep within your essence, granting you the strength to live a life of devotion and prayer. When your heart is fully mine, you'll achieve grand visions. Yet, if you lose sight of our sacred bond, you risk reverting to old ways. Remember, here lies abundant, authentic, and steadfast love. My patience with you is immense, perhaps beyond your current understanding, but soon you'll experience it directly. I safeguard and value those dear to me. You are immensely precious. I will realize what seems unattainable, affirming that my message to you today is filled with divine intent for you and your loved ones. Let me reiterate, if tears need to flow, let them, for they will wash away the heaviness from your spirit. Be still, heed my guidance. The words I offer are vital for your existence, your prospects, and your fortunes. I hold deep affection for you. I vow to fulfill the virtuous desires you present through prayer. Approach me, and I will enrich your existence, your kin, your provisions, and all your endeavors. I will eradicate any ailment from your body, clear your mind of troubling recollections, alleviate your burdens, release you from indebtedness, and surround you with prosperity, because you trust in me. You will be akin to a tree situated by nourishing waters, robust, flourishing, with verdant leaves and bountiful seeds, spreading vitality and blessings far and wide. Do not dread the scorching days. You will offer refuge to those in need, and the fatiguette, even in arid times, your warriors will be few, for your productivity will remain lavish. I will bestow upon you my favor and grant you serenity. Entrust all your endeavors to me and they will be successfully realized.
You and your family will be shielded from any impending hardships, with my angels ever present to guard you. Joy will be yours and everlasting happiness will be your portion. Do not harbor fear or anxiety, for I am by your side. I will provide strength and assistance, supporting you with my triumphant right hand. In all you do, act with integrity, for in doing so you act on my behalf. Your hard work will be met with a glorious reward. Rely wholly on me, not on your understanding. In every aspect of your life, recognize my guidance and I will steer your course. I am your renewal and your vitality. Should you stumble, you will rise again. For those who believe in me will know eternal life, maintain humility and kindness, exercise patience and forbearance. Let not the agitators unsettle you. Respond with calmness, not with anger or aggression. I endow you with bravery, but I also call for wisdom in your responses. Yet, if fear encroaches upon you again, place your trust in me. Seek my presence, for I will come to your aid, defending you from harm, ensuring your safety, watching over your comings and goings. My protective hand will be over you in your dwelling and your journeys. Remember each morning that I am your God, guiding you steadfastly and whispering to you gently, do not fear, for I am with you. I am your ever present help. My love for you is unending. Never feel isolated or neglected. Some may try to remind you of past mistakes to imbue you with regret by bringing up your past wrongs. Ignore such voices. Refuse to let resentment and sadness dominate your being. Even if others abandon you, I will remain with you always. I will not leave you. Despite how others may judge, in my eyes, you're always cherished, gentle, and genuine, valued immensely by me. Ignore the idle talk of those who criticize without understanding. They neglect their own affairs to indulge in negativity and falsehoods. Seek my presence, yearn for my teachings. Find refuge in my protection and wrap yourself in my love. I have created everything you behold the seas, the skies, the mountains, and your very essence, with deep care, intending for you to reside eternally in my domain. The era of the malevolent is fleeting, yet your existence will be everlasting. I have bestowed upon each person the liberty to choose life and veracity. Your heart felt my touch, and you answered with thankfulness. Therefore, I will shower you with my bounties. We are bound eternally. Have confidence and do not fear. Timid souls may attempt to dredge up your old errors. Those transgressions are forgiven and forgotten by me. They are as distant as the ocean's floor. At this instant, I am removing the burdens and hidden sorrows from your spirit, liberating you from the weight that clings to your soul. I will transform your perspective and infuse you with even more valor. I wish for you to stand up energetically and embrace life. The most profound blessings await those who have unwavering faith in me, who cling to my teachings. With humility, never succumbing to arrogance, the heavens celebrate your choice to welcome me into your life, to adhere to my teachings and to demonstrate your devotion through your faith. I will recover what you've lost. Proceed with assurance, for I am the guardian of your fate. Your adversaries have no stand against you. Approach me with belief, yearning for the wonderful blessings you seek, for I am ready to bestow them upon you with immense love. I am reaching out to you. Spare a moment to absorb my message. Continue to heed my voice. I aim to fill your mornings with gladness. I plan to alleviate your concerns mend the internal scars left by time, remove the traces of past hurts and offer you a renewed heart, free from grief and devoid of sorrowful remnants. No longer will you endure nights haunted by the past or agonize over previous afflictions. I wish for you to awaken each day feeling profoundly cherished, 
aware of my presence guiding you as I present you with this fresh start. Today marks a day of jubilation and victory, a time to surmount obstacles and claim triumph. Be emboldened, for this is the reason I have redeemed you, purifying your soul in my sight and absolving all your transgressions. Grasp what many fail to understand. If I have pardoned your sins, I have also erased them from memory. I will not constantly recall your past errors. Hence, you should not dwell in sorrow or regret over what I have already forgiven. It might seem challenging to fathom from a human perspective, but comprehension isn't required. Only your unwavering belief is necessary, free from any skepticism. Your future and prosperity are in my hands. You must not perpetually chastise yourself for past misdeeds and their outcomes. Should the remnants of your sins still affect you, I will endow you with the fortitude to rise above and be triumphant. Heed my assurance. All things work together for good to those who love me. So, clasp my hand, believe in my assurances, and stand up, invigorated and courageous. I have an abundance of splendid things destined for you, yet to receive them, you must acknowledge that in the realm of blessings, there's no space for despondency or complaints, for skepticism or weak faith. Your faith delights me, it gladdens my heart, my presence envelops you, and my spirit imbues you. Let your faith be the beacon that directs you and trust in my word. You will witness, firsthand, the fulfillment of my promises in your life. I cherish you deeply. I've come to share the most profound and potent message you'll hear today. Believe wholeheartedly in my unwavering love for you. It's a love so pure and magnificent. Know this, I have been with you, am with you now, and will forever stand by your side. Your family holds great value in my eyes, and I am set to answer many of your prayers. The blessings on the horizon are immense and splendid. Thus, hold no fear. Do not lose hope, for your support and relief are dispatched from the divine realms, and no earthly power can obstruct them. Yes, there will be trials, and you will face opposition. Numerous are those in the spiritual domain who have risen against you with intensity and hostility. Yet I urge you, fear not, you will encounter no disaster. My angelic hosts surround you, and my resplendent glory will be your safeguard against all dangers. Refrain from judging others or harboring resentment, even if your closest ones turn against you. Remember, your real contest is not with flesh and blood, but with the unseen adversary lurking in the ethereal realms. This hidden enemy sets snares to capture you, utilizing his emissaries and agents to challenge you, aiming to instill such despair that you might collapse and not stand again. From this moment forward, to stand against these dark spiritual entities, you are called to join my legion of angels in exaltation and adoration. Kneel and pray at the break of day. This act is crucial as we near the end times. Ready your spirit, alert your kin, and come together in devotion within your household. Allow my Holy Spirit to lead in your life. I will endow you with self-control and banish trepidation, filling your essence with bravery. The adversary may be sly and misleading, yet do not succumb to alarm, for his power is limited. He is neither all-knowing, ever-present, nor all-powerful. He remains oblivious to my plans, yet watches my handiwork in you, green with envy as you prosper. Some may quiver at the thought of this foe, overlooking the fact they are under the aegis of a god so mighty, unparalleled in strength. You reside in the safeguard of your supreme God. My grace envelops you, making you invulnerable to slander. I am your shield and intercessor. No force can wrench you from my grasp. Stand firm, unshaken by dread. Secure your mind. Reject the notion that the adversary possesses greater might than your divine protector. 
Despite his tenacity and guile, he lurks, waiting to pounce in moments of inactivity or vulnerability, aiming to overwhelm you during times of weakness or oversight. When you find yourself gasping for air or teetering on the brink of despair, reach out to me in prayer. Shout out, and I will respond. I will reinforce your spirit and be your protector. Should worries about your children or their future weigh heavily on you, commit them to prayer, placing them under my watchful eye. I vow to safeguard them. They will find safety in my shelter and oversight, as my love for them mirrors the love I hold for you. March on, with unwavering conviction. I will endow you with the fortitude to stand resolute. Let not trials dampen your spirit, for I will imbue you with my joy and peace, granting you the grace to savor my blessings free from anxiety. I will serve as your protector and your defender, shielding you and repelling any adversities aimed at you and your loved ones. Encourage your family to embrace me, to let me into their lives to provide for and bless them with my kindness as the loving father I am. I have never abandoned you, nor will I ever, for I am the Almighty God. Regardless of the actions or words aimed against you, my affection for you remains steadfast. Await the good I have planned for you. I will unlock paths you thought were shut, ushering you into a season of growth. My promises are yours to claim. My directives are laid before you. Approach each day ready to receive the fresh insights I offer. Bow your spirit. Engage in daily devotion. Always alert, for the adversary lurks continually. Stay vigilant, lest distractions and weaknesses encroach. They aim to cloud your memory of the vows made to me, introducing temptations to divert your path. I now proclaim you as valiant and bold, victorious and resilient. Your faith remains unshaken. Your commitment to serving me is admirable. Shift your mindset. You are no longer, nor will you ever be, prey to the adversary, for he stands vanquished. You are exceedingly victorious, and I am by your side. Stand tall and declare, I am a valiant servant of my celestial Father. Treading bravely, fortified by his divine power, beholding wonders within my soul. My kin and I reside in his safeguard, enveloped in blessings, enfolded in his affection. Hold fast to me so you remain steadfast amidst life's tempests. I enwrap you in my sanctified protection, insulating you from the world's chill. You are virtuous, I see your essence. Despite your adversities, hold fast to the belief in your generous spirit, brimming with profound sentiments. This is yet another call to battle fervently for your loved ones and aspirations. Allow me to align your blessings on your right and guide you to part ways with what no longer serves you on your left. Should some drift away or silence their words towards you, let them go. Do not cling or mourn for them. They forsake their own blessings through their decisions and missteps. Let go of the grasp on worldly goods. Many are ensnared by their possessions, thinking them grand, yet they are mere distractions. They've exchanged their true calling for mere earthly wealth, overlooking my divine design and forsaking the promise of everlasting life. Yet, do not be apprehensive. In times of plenty and in times of want, I remain steadfastly by your side. I'm your shepherd, your heavenly Father here today to deliver you, to redeem you, to liberate and heal you, to bestow upon you my peace, to enrich you, to elevate you from your current plight, drenching you in my blessings and grace. My favor and kindness will accompany you on all your journeys. I will cause prosperity to flood your life, even in the view of those who belittle you. I promise joy and abundance for you and your loved ones. You've traversed through countless dark nights, wading through sadness and despair, feeling as though all hope was lost, 
fearing that the heavens had sealed off, that my answers were beyond reach. But I'm here now to reaffirm my promise, to tell you that every plea you raised to me was heard. I've been your protector against malice, your shield from grievous harms, cradling your life gently in my hands, never leaving your side. In your turmoil, my presence seemed invisible, my comfort unfelt, as you were engulfed in pain and dismay, fixated on the adversities thrown at you, almost drifting away from me. Yet your faith persists, unextinguished. Even as your heart roamed through desolation, the spark of belief lingered, whispering to you in the silent nights about a heavenly father who cherishes you immensely, serenading you at dawn with the divine hymns of an almighty God who vigilantly watches over and protects you. When the adversary returns with his deceitful whispers to lead you astray, assert with conviction, my life is under my Lord's dominion. My soul rests in his embrace. I pledge my allegiance to my all-powerful and supreme God. Promise me you will stand firm, declare your love for me, pen it down, forever faithful to my God. Embrace this truth wholeheartedly, for it was, is, and will eternally be your reality. Do not let the seeds of skepticism or contempt for love take root in your heart, especially when you recall all I've done for you, which should fortify your resolve to press on, to battle, to endure, and not to waver. Yielding to thoughts of defeat invites the adversary to levy accusations and inflict suffering upon you. Placing your trust in the detractors, those who bear ill will, invites them to pilfer your serenity, your vitality, your joy, and your blessings. I urge you to proclaim aloud, believe in your heart, inscribe with your hands your unwavering faith in me amidst the tempests, now and forevermore, affirming you will never question my undying love for you. It is yours unmistakably. My commitment to you is unassailable. Should you ever feel isolated, or forsaken. No, it's merely the harsh trials of life attempting to quench the flame within you. Your faith is not extinguished. Open your eyes, embrace the fervent warmth that will stir your soul, invigorate your spirit, animate your essence, illuminate your heart, and dispel the encroaching shadows. You need not dwell in anger, isolation, disappointment, or the depths of continual failures and spiritual poverty Reject such a stance. It is not where you belong. Your true residence is alongside me, enveloped in my presence, cradled in my peace. Imbibe deeply of my joy, for with these words, I bestow upon you the sign you sought. In your moments of distress, you pleaded, Speak to me, my God, and behold, I am reaching out to you. Attune your heart to my voice, Feel the depth of love and care with which I approach you, affirming I cherish you. At no point did I release your hand, distance myself, or forsake you. I have stood by my word, unwavering in my promise. Now it's your turn to stand firm in faith. Entrust your heart to me. Be valiant and raise your gaze. Cast aside your sorrow this instant. I am here to uplift you, to soothe your spirit to mend your hurts. Understand that in your direst times you were never forsaken. Thus banish the thought that I've withheld my love from you. Such a thing is impossible. I acknowledge the magnitude of your battles, yet my love for you is unchanging, and my grip on your hand is steadfast. You voiced your exhaustion, your sense of being at the brink, unable to discern the exit. Let me clarify that Perhaps your gaze has been misdirected because the gateway has always stood before you. I am your path, your beacon, your entrance, your verity, the journey you are to embark upon. I am your future and your existence. In the whirlwind of your struggles, when you choose faith over fear and turn to me, you will find your way through. Trust in my timing and my ways, for I will guide you tenderly to your deliverance. Should your patience wear thin and weariness cloud your spirit, 
I'll be there to bolster your endurance, to fortify your resolve, and to envelop you in my serene peace. Now is not the moment to surrender. You are on the cusp of realizing your heartfelt aspirations. Embrace a full and unwavering belief in my presence, recognizing that I am your unfailing source of assistance. Hesitate, not in seeking my counsel before making decisions. Preserve the progress you have made. A misstep now could unravel your achievements. Remember, this journey is not a race, nor is there a need to prove your worth to others. You have already proven your faithfulness to me. Continue on your path with deliberate and steady steps, navigating with wisdom, and you shall arrive at the bounty and joy I have promised. Upon reaching this blessed destination, you will recall my words, lifting praises and gratitude to me. Do not lose heart or surrender to despair. Place your trust in me, for I hold you dear. Life has challenged you and adversaries have tried to undermine your journey, employing others to discourage, belittle, and doubt your faith. Yet fear not, for no person or trial can overpower you. I am your shield, your provider, your healer, and your steadfast support. I will lay my powerful hand upon your life, mending each hurt and transforming every painful memory into a testimony of my love and grace. Even amidst life's storms and the enemy's cunning plots to disrupt your peace, within your family, your work, your sanctuary, you remained unshaken, standing firm in your faith. I see the complexity and the heartache these trials bring, stirring turmoil within you, challenging your spirit, testing your strength. But today I'm here to heal the fractures in your life. March on, be valiant, rise tall, and keep your head lifted high. The adversary has tried tirelessly to impede your journey, yet here you are, fortified by my grace, unwavering. The hardships you've endured, the adversities you've faced, they aren't your finale, my precious one. You won't be defeated in this battle. While others might misjudge your current state as a downfall, I am stepping in. With my omnipotent hand and my legions of angels, decreeing your upliftment. Your supplications have reached the heavens. Your life is set for a divine transformation. Be wary, for many walk in skepticism, overlooking the miracles that unfold daily. Questioning my essence, my affection, my might. But you, my child, are not of that fold. Your faith will persist unscathed by fear. In due time, all will behold the magnificent shift in your life and will come to recognize the magnificence of your Lord. Hence, keep your eyes fixed on me, cling to my words, and trust in my vows. Do not lean on the inconsistent, nor entrust your destiny to those who falsely profess their love. Your heart, that tender and precious heart, is mine. You have dedicated it to me foremost. Love me above all, for I yearn for you to stay eternally mine. Amen. If you receive this declaration, type yes, if you're ready and share this video with five people who trust God. Comment. Jesus is Lord to support our channel. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on bell notifications type 777 if you believe this, like this video, and subscribe to the channel if you believe in God. Type, I really love you, God, and if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks from $50 to $100. God bless you, my child type. Amen.